part three, uh, Jacob Laban, how Laban and the father, Lord God, and how Laban's in the father's stead. So uh, we left off at 31, 24. And God came to Laban, the Syrian, in a dream by night. And he said to him, take heed what thou speakest to Jacob, neither good, either good or bad. And he didn't say neither. He said either. Take heed. He's saying, careful, you're dealing with one of mine. Now, Laban is in the father's stead. That's why it reads. Now, supposedly, and not supposedly, but God does say to Jacob, I am with thee, get thee to thy land. Well, God didn't say, grab all the cattle, grab all the women, grab all the children. They're, they are his wives. The, the father Laban gave them to him. But if he has honor for the father, he'll have honor for the father. You understand? If he honors the father, he honors the fathers. He keeps the wall. He defends the women. He secures the women and children and brings them blameless. Well, Laban goes on to say in verse 26, after he overtakes Jacob, that means he's he's has him in his hand. He can slay him. He can kill him. And Laban in 26 says to Jacob, what hast thou done that thou hast stolen away unawares to me and carried away my daughters as captive taken with a sword? He's saying you gave me word and now you're cutting it with the sword. That's the red horse, right? Now, Jacob has already done the three horsemen. He's lied as the first horseman shooting his arrow, thinking he can rule for himself, that he should eat his mother's words and not his father's, where his mother takes the sin. That ain't going to happen, son. Your mother is, is your mother when you're a boy. And she is blameless in her account of raising a boy. And therefore, if you don't come out to be a man, that's your sin, not hers. And thus, that's why the, the, the sons deceive their father, Jacob, by falsely killing Joseph and bringing him the coat with the sheep's blood. God is teaching him of his sins in his youth. So showing him what, what it is when you think that, that the women should be punished, they're sheep, okay? And they're gifts from God. They're to be guarded and not to be deceitfully used. Wherefore did that 27? Wherefore did that? Oh, and uh, he's the black horse because he decided that his wages would be what they were trying to screw Laban. Well, wherever he profited, that should be Laban's cattle because it's by Laban that he got everything. For anything that the son has is from the father. But it is the father's good pleasure to give all to the son. As Laban will demonstrate after he covers Jacob and he covers Jacob's wife, his daughter, because Jacob's popping off at the mouth thinking he's righteous when he's not. Wherefore did thou flee away secretly and steal from me and didst not tell me that I might have sent them away with myrrh and with song and tabret and with heart? He's saying, see how Jacob ate the words in 31.1 and he heard the words of Laban's sons. Like he heard his mother's words, the rumors. He moved a rumor. He didn't stand like a man. You see, the righteous don't run. Jacob's running. Laban's not. That means Laban's the righteous man and Jacob is the one being wicked. And so has and has thou not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters that thou hast done foolishly and so doing? As, as a fool does, because thou kept not the command of God. Thou hast dealt foolishly, says Samuel, and now thy kingdom will be rent from thee. But Saul repents, and God keeps more to the promise, or never repents from the promise, but will repent from evil. So Jacob's about to repent, though. And therefore, he, he still gets to keep it. But it's only by Laban's righteous account. Watch. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your fathers, notice not your God, Jacob, the God of your fathers, because every father defends the fathers over the family. And anyone that does not eat their father's words, such as the Bill of Rights, the Declaration, the Ten Commands, is no man with a father. He is a boy lying, saying that he is his father's brother. When he's not, he's just a hireling coming to steal the women away. But the God of your father spoke to me yesternight, saying, Take thou heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. Okay, so he, okay, so it is speak neither good nor bad. He's saying wait. Um, so what, what, what Laban is doing is he's waiting on God. OK, so Laban has him in his hand and he's like, look, I could kill you, but God has commanded me that the God of your fathers has commanded me to wait. 
And now thou wouldest needs be gone because thou because thou sore longest after your father's house. Yet wherefore hast thou stolen my gods? So apparently some idols are missing, right? And Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, for I said, Peraventure thou wouldest take by force the daughters from me. With whomsoever thou findest thy gods, let them not live. Before, let him not live. Before our brethren discern thou what is thine with me, and take it to thee. For Jacob knew not that Rachel had stolen them away. So Laban's about to save Jacob's life because Jacob says him not live, right? And so he he would have to die in the stead of, of Rachel. And Jacob goes through, he searches everything. Um, and the last thing he comes to is this furniture um, that the camel carry on and stuff. And so she's sitting on it and she's now, now Laban's not an idiot. Okay. And he knows his daughters and he knows Rachel and he knows that this is the last place he has to look for his idol gods. And she said to her father, let it not displease my Lord that I cannot rise up before thee for the custom of women is upon me. And he searched, but found not the images. That means and Jacob was brought, uh, that means that Laban covers his daughter. You understand? Laban forsakes the gods and keeps his daughter alive. Now notice she says, my Lord. Anything, as Sarah called Abraham Lord, as we call Christ Lord, anything that is Lord over you will die in your stead. They will secure you. They don't rule over you. They die for you. They don't put you into bondage. They suffer for you. They bring you blameless. This is why she's saying, Lord, right? This is why Moses writes it this way. It's beautiful. And, and Moses Moses is a genius in his wording. And Jacob was wroth. And he has the Holy Spirit, the eternal writer with him, okay? And showed with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin? And thou hast so hotly pursued after me. Where hast thou searched all my stuff? But he didn't search all this stuff, you see. He searched but did not find them because he chose not to find them. What thou hast found of all my household and stuff. Set it here before me and thy brethren. And they may judge betwixt us. So he's humiliating Laban. He's saying, you said I stole some shit. He's calling Laban a liar. And he's saying, set it between us, your brother and my brother, right now. Watch what Laban does as Jacob goes to pop off at the mouth. Now, right now, Laban or Rachel should die. And secondly, he's calling Laban a liar. Or Rachel or Jacob should die because Rachel stole the gods. And Right now, he's calling Laban a liar. And then he calls him a liar some more. He says, between you and me, these past 20 years, have you dealt and you've changed my wages? I serve 14 for thy daughters. Now, notice that Jacob doesn't say, say I serve seven and you beguiled me because Laban already closed that matter. He's like, no, 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 no. That's not so. So he says, I serve 14 years for thy two daughters. Notice how he doesn't say you beguiled because he didn't beguile him. He said, I am your father's brother, and therefore he should have known the custom of the father. And therefore, in, in, uh, except in 42, it says, except the God of my father and the God of Abraham and the fear of Isaac had been with me, surely you would had sent me away now empty. God has seen my affliction and labor of my hands and rebuked you yesterday. <laughs> now he is popping off. At Laban, like God is with him. God never told Jacob to sneak out in the middle of the night. You understand? God never told him to dishonor the father. God never permits sin. And Laban answered and said to Jacob, These daughters are my daughters. And these cattle are my cat, or and these children are my children, and these cattle are my cattle, and all that thou seest is mine. And what can I do for these, to these, my daughters, to my children that they have born? Notice how they take children from women that born their children today, and they, they play like Laban's a bad father. Absolutely incorrect. Uh, we'll finish this up with part three.